It's your boy Perplex84 back at it again. Represents the Reaper Cortex reviews. As you can see, your boy Perplex can move his feet. He can move his feet. It's real good. He got that Rico swap ain't going on. He ain't just good with talking about games and tech. He ain't just good with freaking, you know, giving out analogies and doing kung fu on y'all. He can move his feet too. <laughs> anyway, y'all, I want to start gaming with y'all. Before I start this video, I want to start gaming with y'all. Let's do it tomorrow or sometime this week. Let's hit it up. They be asking me, yo, Perplex, what do you play? Let's get down on some button mashing. Hey, I play Mario Kart 8. I play some freaking Smash. I love some Smash. I play Pokemon Tournament. So hit me up. My Nintendo ID is EH120184. Eight digits, y'all. That's it. That's all I give you. That's all you need. Anyway, I got an abundance of news today. Crazy news. I don't even know where to start. I got my notes. I've been doing some resources, some researching with my sources, and I want to see what's going on. First of all, let's talk about the switch. Let's get that popping off because it's hot right now. It's burning hot. KFC hot. Listen, Nintendo Switch, I got this from a source. The Nintendo Switch component will reportedly support micro SDXC cards up to 128 gigs. That's massive, y'all. Inside, so they're also talking about that's compared to the 32 gigabyte SDHC cards supported by the supported by the 3DS XL. Why are they comparing it to the 3DS XL? It's obvious you're gonna be able to play your 3DS games on that machine. DS up for debate. 3DS, I'm about 95% sure you're going to be able to do it. Or they wouldn't even be comparing sizes. They wouldn't be. They wouldn't be comparing formats of the card or anything like that. So I'm. Just, and it goes to show that I'm telling you that Nintendo isn't done with the manufacturing process of the console. They're not done with the editing of the console, the specifications, or anything. They're still working on it. That's they hype, y'all. Also, Nintendo goes on to say they're also ditching the external drive and they're going to be using a USB-C, similar to like what Apple uses on their products. Uh, also. They said the PS4 games are going to be usable on the Switch. Not PS4 software straight up, but as far as Sony, or not Sony, but as far as the developers porting games from the PS4 over to the Switch. So that got developers, and not developers, but they have um, sources saying that the Switch is going to be comparable in power to the PS4 Pro. They didn't mention the Scorpio, but they did mention the Pro. And if it is comparable in power to that machine, it's going to be epic. Now, we also got the source out saying that it's only going to be the Switch I'm speaking of. It's going to be 4 gigs of RAM. That's up for debate. If it is 4 gigs of RAM, that's nowhere near the PS4 as far as RAMage, RAM action, you know. But still, that's yet to be seen. I'm hype about that, man. You got developers going nuts. Also, developers and makers of Final Fantasy. They're loving the Switch. They're talking about they can't wait to get their products on the Switch. In fact, they're already talking about putting Final Fantasy 15 on the Switch. That's going to be sick, dude. Man, what's the last time we had a Final Fantasy game on any Nintendo product? Super Nintendo? Let's move on. If you guys have an, an, an NVIDIA Shield, I'm so hype, I'm stuttering. If you have an NVIDIA Shield on any Android TV box, such as the Mi Box that just came out, or let's go back to the Shield. That super Android TV box which with eight cores and the latest Tegra processing in there. Now you can play your PlayStation View on that as well as your PC and your iOS computer. All you have to do is get your laptop, hook it up to your TV, and have a blast. Get you a wireless remote, you're watching TV straight from your laptop. And that's how it should be. Innovation, baby. They're snapping. Also, 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 the Direct TV Now service is coming as well. It's going to be on your Android TV boxes, your iOS, everything, PC, everything. It's coming next week. $35, 100 plus channels, pure HD. AT&T just went on the whim and said, look, we have conquered our contract negotiations. We have deals with every programmer out there. 
you're going to have all the channels. We're just having one problem with, and that's uh, CBS they're talking about. CBS is giving them a hard time. They have a negotiation issues or, you know, contractual uh, obligations they have or something like that. I don't know what's going on with CBS, but Fox and TNT and HBO, all that stuff is going to be in the service for 35 bucks. So they didn't mention packages. So that's what we can only assume we're going to get $35 for 100 and some plus channels. That's beautiful. <sighs> also, that goes to show that they're dominating because I got another source. Last with this year, over a half a million people canceled or altered their TV service in one month. In one month. So they don't tell you that people are starting to switch and go to the streaming product. I don't know what to tell you. Also, they're talking about the Xbox Scorpio is going to be backwards compatible. I'm jumping all over the place. I don't care. This is tech love right here. Backwards compatible with the 360 and the Xbox One. That's going to be sick. Tell me what you guys think. Hit your boy up in the comment section. Man, if you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe. Show me some love. I'm new. I love you. Let's do it. I'm out, y'all. Tell me what you think. Get my, get my uh, Nintendo ID.